Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Sea of Stars. In the last, <coughs> in the last part, <coughs> we set off to some to explore some new lands. We need to find some village called Dakari Village, which sat at the bottom of the ocean. So we had to go through uh go through some trials. Not really, not really, but we had to get we had to get ourselves a magic seashell in order to gain the power to breathe underwater. We met with the Oracle of Tides, who was very, uh, unhelpful. He told us that no matter what we did, we will not win against the Dweller of Strife. But, fuck Destiny. Screw what, what the fates have, have for us. We're gonna overcome them. We're gonna show everybody who's, who's wrong. So, we made it to this big old tower that's partially submerged. Because something is waiting for us here. So... Uh, let's check out what it is. But before we do that, we unlock two new stories for uh, Teeks to tell. So let's read. Let's uh, let's see what they're about. The Vampire Rose and the Nomad of the Seas. Let's start with this one. There once was a botanist who attempted to trick death by growing a rose so pretty that she just couldn't bear to, re to, re to reap it. Smitten, death spiraled into confusion as she appreciated the beauty of life for the very first time. Whether her next action was fueled by jealous rage or opportuni opportunistic guile, no one really knows. Using wicked magic, she turned the flower into something even more beautiful, but, e but very cursed indeed. The Vampire Rose. A thing beckoning beauty, compelling all who light eye lay eyes upon it to willingly take part in their own corruption. Rumors of the magical rose reached all corners of the world, carrying an ample, a simple promise. A promise few could resist. Eternal life provided that they could take it. Despite the elation offered by the initial touch, the price became the apparent all pa became apparent all too quickly. For all for every second spent holding the vampire rose, every year would be added to one's lifespan. But for every borrowed year, a thorn would grow on one of their bones. Stories say that of all the people that touched the vampire rose, most realized their mistake instantly. Having extended their lives by but a single year, they'd release their grip and live on, only with, only with a very painful reminder felt in their every, in their every move. But there were others unable to stop themselves and became what few would describe as human or even alive. Though it is unclear whether the, the vampire rose yet exists, everyone agrees on one thing. It appears that, in the end, death always gets the last laugh in the faces of those foolish enough to try and cheat her. The end. That's very, uh... That's very interesting. Honestly, I, I still think the Vesper Time story is the best one we've had so far. The Three Sisters is our close second. It was like a dream. No one believed it at first, but that their seemingly eternal journey could finally be over. Why them? And with the Oracle of Tides being so young, who could confirm the long-awaited discovery? But in their heart of hearts, they knew. Before them, appearing even more vividly than in their vision, stood the Tower of Aunt Sudlow. And so it was that the nomads of the sea, who had traversed abyssal plains since time immemorial, would settle at long last. Having, re having reached their promised land, they started building next to the tower. In Dakari Village, dead generations would come and go, each following the guidance of their respective Oracle of Tides. Since that day, they have been in the gardens of Aunt, Aunt, Aunt Sudlow, waiting for those dis destined to open its gate. In this new era, memories of, the new, of their nomadic lot days live on in classic tales, retelling the deeds of great explorers and formidable warriors. The most popular by far is the Battle of Fates Gaiot. Gaiot? Gaiot? This story with so many versions, it may very well be just a myth. To the best of their abilities, historians have pieced together hints of various retellings of the battle, some even dedicating their lives to the subject. It is generally accepted as a fa as fact that the Dakari almost went extinct while crossing the territory of a gigantic sea slug. What happened next is a matter of much debate, depending on the interpretation of the key, of key passages and the credibility of certain sources. Some claim that the Battle of Fates Gaiot never happened, dismissing it as a fabrication meant to scare off would-be pillagers of ancient Dakari treasure. This theory is mostly seen as a stretch, however, given that lo such looters' inability to breathe into water would be already be deterrent, would be deterrent enough. Some historians say that the giant sea slug was defeated when the Dakar made their last stand on the flat-topped sea mount, given the story its title. For others, the scriptures about sunken ruins are simply too consistent to be ignored. According to this version of events, the nomads sealed the monster away when they realized they couldn't defeat it. 
The key was then split into three equal parts, each waiting somewhere in the deep blue for future heroes and brave enough to rid the world of this threat. The end. Oh, ain't that fascinating. That's just fascinating. Uh, I am down like six foods, so let's see what I can make. Um, maybe like party white heels. So this the four. <clears throat> I got. Yeah, <clears throat> I got four of those. Uh, and one of these. Um. What I might do is split it up: three party white heels and three individual heels. So I'll do that. So, ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty good. But I don't have enough onions. I think that's an onion, isn't it? Okay. So, sixty. Okay. So, I'll make three of these. Roast sandwich. Sandwich, and then. Uh, these. Oh, I, oh, I can only make one. Because I only have one onion. I have loads of everything else except an onion. So I'll make two of these. And one of those. Mushroom syrup. Alright. Let us proceed. I'm stocked up with foods. So I, I looked up some stuff about this game. So it turns out there was a true ending. In order to get the true ending, you have to actually beat the game first to unlock, uh, to unlock, to unlock the, true, the possibility to get the true ending. So I'll definitely do that when I get to that point. Oh, uh, these must be. Oh yeah, I figured. Very. Very, very, uh, bulky. Alright. I get all four of you. I cook you. Ugh. Oh, alright, so mag- Oh, well, they fired and do shit to those things. Come on! Alright, let's try that. Alright. At least you can finish it off. Damn. Almost 2,000 experience for those things. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Something out of place. All right, uh, let's go left. Uh, it's water. Oh, I can't go that way. Got, I got some sort of special pearl. Wait, how do I? Wait, how do I? No, oh, I just jumped down. Can't go that way. Uh, 
do I... Oh, I, I gotta get that. Okay, I see what I gotta do. Blech. Don't clone me! Alright. Do that no rude. I right, fucked it up. So does he eventually spit you back out, or is it, is it one of those things where they're gone until the, the fight's over? I'm free! I'll take that milk. This one. Shove it there. <clears throat> All right, so we'll, I've got to go for a swim. Uh, do I jump down or do I grab this? Easy. This is easy on the other side. Nice. You didn't clone me. Ah, oh, I thought I could kill you in time. You didn't clone me, isn't he? I was not. See what I gotta do. I gotta keep raising the. I gotta keep raising the water level. Oh shit! I can't do that one. It's too high. All right. Okay, so this one then. Oh. Oh. What is this? Uh. 
These look like things I, I interact with. Ugh. I see something down there. A clam. Clam pearl. something. I'm not quite sure what it's doing, but it's doing something. So, go over here. Give me that! Foul, foul, thalice, thalice cloak. Alright, what do we got? Something, something for you. Wizards of old. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, you can't do it because you can't wear it. This will this would have been great for you. For a magic defense. You can, you can't even wear it. So wait, so you're the only one who can wear it. Alright. Wait, no, could, could you could wait, could you have worn it? Probably not, right? No. Uh -uh. So it's just you, huh? Open the pipes! Open the pipes! Alright, so... What do I do? Oh shit, it's a puzzle. Oh boy. Alright. Um... I'm not quite sure what I am doing. So, um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just pushing buttons. Understand what I'm doing here. Aha! I had to align the uh, the uh, the red fish bones. Food source. Don't do it. No, I probably should have canceled that out with the. Uh... Let her go right now. Climb the ladder first. Oh, the slimes now. Shit.
Dang, 2,000 experience? Oh, I'm not, I didn't even level up. Fuck me, I'm like, what, 40, 40 points away or something? Nowhere. Uh, like, what? No. Wait. Do I? Can I swim around it? So this is still blocked off to me for the moment. Mm. There we go. Alright. I got the purples. Open that up so I can get my loot. My loot. One phosphorus lid. I think I already have one of those, don't I? I don't. Here you go, buddy. Shrimp. Do I wait? How do I? Oh, duh. Duh. Go for a swim. Ride the water elevator. Oh shit. It's literally an elevator. I was just making a joke. It's literally an elevator. They have, they have the up and down buttons and everything. I was just making a joke. I don't think I don't think those be I don't think those be little. Taking a shower. Okay. Uh. Uh. Okay. There's. Can't do anything with that yet. Can I. We. Good thing we can breathe underwater. I see a rainbow conch shell down there. Don't eat me either. Oh, good, there's two of us. Oh, look at this menagerie.
Cook a surprise. Have a bomb. All right, let's try it again. Not, not, not be bad. Did too early. Fuck me. Aw, he spied with 3 HP. Are you serious? Would you do it? Rubble up! Alright, physical defense. Obviously, I'm going for physical. Thank you, madam. My guy, what can I do for you? Defense. Boop. Make you bulky. I got a valve. I got a valve. Almost said wrench. Almost said wrench. That's not a wrench at all. Doesn't even look like a wrench. See a save point. All right. All right. The orb of power. All right, got that. Uh, how do I? This let me nowhere before. So how do I? Or where where, 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 where do I go from here? Um. Uh, I'm. Uh, where, where do I go? I'm stuck here. Um. Can I do that? No, I can't. How do I? Just to get back. Wow. I'm done. I thought I, I had to. I thought I had to take that pearl with me. I guess. I guess not. No, but I had to because I. The... Maybe I come back for that orb later. go did that, did that open the other one uh, it did not so then how do I get that one open
it did something. Uh, but how do I, how do I open that? Oh wait. Oh wait. Do I go? Oh. Wait. I think I know. Do I go back over here and read and readjust the valves? So those rainbow conches, when I was looking into the true ending, the rainbow conches actually play a part in the true ending. So I have to find all 60 rainbow conches if I want the true ending. So um, I'm definitely going to have to look up a list later on. Where exactly am I supposed to be going now? Um... Do I go back up to that top valve? Okay, that just that stuck me nowhere. Um, not quite sure where I'm supposed to be going now. Um, have I missed something? What does this do again? Oh, I can't even pick it up. Do I go back down? doing I don't know I'm lost I'm lost oh there's a ladder right there fuck me I'm just blind I'm not lost I didn't even see the ladder god damn it from this door feels odd. I bet the big mystery we're supposed to find is right behind it. No handles. Can't push it open either. And it's not resonating with our innate magic. Maybe we're just supposed to knock? efforts in the tower proved valiant, but alas, as fate would have it, with these events first occurred, the mysterious door remained firmly shut. Despite the best efforts in the face of this setback, our heroes were unable to reach Mess Island in time, and the Devil of Strife turned into a world leader. They fought ever so bravely, but in the end, their lives and their world were lost. Thus, we arrive at the crux of tonight's musings. A, sim a single question. How far might they go should fate be given a nudge, and the door that once sat closed were to be opened? Let's find out. Come in. Oh, shit. It's this. Oh, hello. Hello. So this was this is where the uh, the big archive was. 
What is this place? It smells musty. Good evening and good and welcome to the Great Archives. Please excuse the mess. I tend to get absorbed in my work. <clears throat> Wait, are you really? Titles are are for stories and myths. Please call me Rasham. Rasham. That's even cooler than Rick Stoll. Wait, so you're the immor immortal alchemist? I suppose so. Unreal. Alchemist, sir, we... Please, call me Rashawn. Rashawn? <clears throat> this, is, this is really unexpected. Yeah, we... Can't you just fix all this then? Unfortunately, no. I am bound by a very strict code. There are no words to express the suffering that would, end, that would ensue were I to take matters in my own hands. Worse than a dweller turned into a world eater. Not to minimize, but you must not understand that in the grand scheme of things, your reality is simply one of many. By fixing your your realm, I would unleash Thoral's wrath on, on countless others. That is unacceptable. Who's a Thoral? My former associate. Where your people call me the Immortal Alchemist, they refer to a Foro as the Fleshmancer. Huh? Is he hiding somewhere here too? Your world is safe, at least in this regard. A Foro left it left a long time ago. Should he learn of my presence here, however? You take him on and he's nothing but a loser! Now it appears time is of the essence. We need to get on to the Mesa Island. Can you help? I might. But first, we must you must determine whether or not you can help yourselves. We know how to fight. Of course you do, but this matter is not is about whether you truly are, are who you are who, who I'm hoping for you are. For now, I would send you to a remote location where, in case in the, in the ice, lies a long-lost artifact. What kind of artifact? I'll say no more at this time. If letting you in here was the proper course of action, its power will call to you. This portal leads to where it went and forgotten. Recover the artifact, and I shall entertain this plan of yours. Oh boy. So, uh, that was interesting. Alright, I'm on a snowy peak. Icicles. What the fuck are these things? What kind of name is that? Roach, Crossadier, Crossadier? What kind of name? These names just get more and more complicated. Where there's fire, or there's snow, there's fire. You, you think they'd be living? They'd, they'd weak to fire. Well, Pokemon knowledge is failing me. I've been spoiled by it. Treasure chest. Music sheet. Alright, I don't know what that's for, but I got a music sheet. Uh, 
before I go over there. Oh, we got a campfire. Uh, now we're good. What the fuck? He's jamming out. Look at him. He's a DJ. Boulder douche. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. Okay. Give me a super apple. All right, so next time, make sure I cancel that big, uh, that big cast of his. Damn it. Now there it is again. He's built, he's jamming out. Not this time. He's resistant to fire, or is it just physical? You know, he's an ice golem. You'd think he'd be weak to fire, but he's not. Really? Cared frozen potatoes. I don't know if she, yeah. oh, there's big boys in the way. How do I can I break them? No. Uh Ugh. I see Boulder Man! Can I break these things by shoving these things into them? No, I can't. Do I find a bomb? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Okay. Uh... I'm not gonna be able to uh, stop one of them. This is hurt. Here it is. What happens if I don't defend? Okay, it doesn't matter if I defend or not. It'll still bring me down a single digit. Is it reach a moon? That makes absolutely no sense. Jamming out. <laughs> Damn. 
got him. I'm assuming I get like I'll, I'll find like a big bomb or something. Look at them. They're having a DJ party. Do I have to? Re do I really have to interrupt them? Come on, look at them. They're having the time of their lives. Oh wait. Can I, do I fight them? Oh, I do. Come on, these guys are having the time of their lives. I really have to come ruin the, ruin the fun? Fine. God, the differences between the distance kind of screws me. At least they'll die jamming out the tunes they'd like. Kill the DJ at the party. Huh. I think just found out a ton of loot. I must get I must get like a bomb or something. Cause I'm, I'm putting a lot of breakable objects around here. Shit. How to get back now? Honestly, I didn't realize that was a monster. I thought that was just I thought that was just a snowball. Joke continues surviving with one hit point. The running joke just never ceases to stop. Wait, could I have gone around that other? God damn, I, I keep doing it too early. The timing is just screwing with my head. Die! 
experience. I'm, I'm almost done close. I'm close to level up again. Um, now nah, we're good. Oh, these guys again. However you, however you did it, you were foolish by showing up here. Foolish in corner too. Your friends already tried acting tough, didn't you? Didn't you get their report? My, they truly are feisty. Feisty and arrogant too. Come then. Uh oh. Uh, I got time for something big. Can't see she's up the mat, off the screen. Oh, that was terrible. Don't me. What are you doing? Ow. Leave me alone. alone. Nope, not happening. Not today, sir. Down easy. Now time for Miss, Mr. Boot, but time for Brutus here. down got a lot of xp out of that 4,000 ah, you got lucky next time you will win what in celebrate too all right do you so far the bit the terrible foursome ha haven't been uh quite impressive and don't come back we're close i can feel it let's do this all right Hopefully I get like a bomb or something because I'm finding a lot of destructible objects. Yeah, the, te the, the terrible foursome haven't been quite terrible yet. So I'm not all that impressed with them. broken. I 
got the soul amulet. So much energy. It's the same kind of power as. How do we get out of here? This block could be this block could be melted, but the celestial root is busted. I can now change the time of day with else without needing to stand in the solstice room. Ooh. Fuck the ruins. I got my own portable one. Well, we can just do this at will now. The amulet's resonance with our magic is really strong. We got what we needed. Let's go back to Rashan. Nice. Well. So, what do we do with this? Oh. Okay, so apparently that breaks rocks. I didn't realize the power of a little light can do that. But hey. Away. Can I push this? I can. Signet of Clarity. What's that? Cost minus one MP. Ooh, hello. That could be good. Um, I could give it to you for your nourish, or I could give it to you for your sunball. Mm. Now, hold on to it for now. Treasure chest, reveal it. Sa that's it for a sapphire or an iron. What's my time? Ugh. Break the ice. Break it! Oh, come on, sir, you're right on it! Item roulette. Oh, wonderful. Let's trust, let's trust my item luck to a roulette. Like, my gambling luck is all that is... All that... Grand. Rainbow conch Take it another one from my collection. I need 16 total. I Think I've got them all so far by I'm I think I looked up a list and I think I missed one way back in a uh, next toes landing So I'm 
pretty sure I've missed one of them so far. I'm not, I'll have to go back to Exposed Landing whenever I can, just to see. Cause I know where it is, because I saw the picture. Oh, wait. This is the wrong way. Um, I know where it is, because I saw the picture, but I don't remember picking it up, because it's, it's kind of hidden. So I can't remember if I've gotten it or not. <laughs> You've returned. Congratulations. Will you help us get to Mesa Island now? You were just there a few moments ago. Huh? Is this, is this the way, then? We just go back and hike down the mountain? Hiking Glacial Peak on foot. Only an animal, animal would do that. Uh, huh. we, we accept one final challenge. If you succeed, I promise I will help you. We're in a hurry. You said... I know, I know. Hear me out. The only way to remove the bear is to wake up the giant stone head. I can make the potion for you, but brewing it requires centuries of macaration. Centuries? That's useless! That is why I need you to recover my personal alchemy bottle, the vial of time. Within it, I can control time itself. Bring it back to me and I will prepare what you need in mere seconds. No way. Alright, where can we find your vial of time? Afora hid it somewhere on Watcher Island a long time ago. All I know for certain is that the giant statue from which the island got its name is the key. How can you be so sh be sure? Afora's tricks always involve big statues. Hmm? Eventually, I figured out he figured he would have he would have he would have had to stop if I had never recovered my va my vial. But here we are here we are in need of it. This is ridiculous. Call it what you will, but I recommend you take this task seriously. Or it'll be very trying. Sure, whatever. We're ready. Then go to the northern part of the Watcher Island and perform the cleansing of Torment Peak. <laughs> cleansing? There's a dweller here? Of course, it may be just a prank, but a four played it, played it himself. But without their powers augmented by... Yes. That's what the soul stamina is really for, isn't it? Precisely. It may be old, but its magic is yet to fade. Face the dwell of torment with conviction, and the amulet will resonate. The powder conjuring eclipse. Alright, we can do this. Torment peak afflicts the mind in devilish ways, but you deserve a fighting chance. Here. What I get? Go on, drink. What is it? One dose of tethered mind potion for each of you. Come on now, bottoms up. I'm glowing. I don't feel any different. And thanks to this potion, you'll never you and you'll be able to say the same same after spending time in that wicked place. I thought you couldn't to help directly. It is but a little nudge. Sure, this can stay between us. Thanks, Russian. We'll, we'll be back with the vital time. Feel free to use this portal for quick travel between here and Lake Dakari. I'll be watching. Good luck. What's this one? That's Dakari. Glacial Peak. Alright. Whee! I'm out of here! Alright. I need to get to uh, Torment Peak, so I need to get out of here. Right? Am I going the right way? I don't even know if I'm going the right way or not. I'm not going the right way. I need to go north. right yeah it's like what up here isn't it 
I'm gonna not heed this man's words and go straight to Torment Peak. He told us not to go there, but we're gonna go there anyway. Can't stop me now. Alright. When we come back, we will tackle Torment Peak. Take on another dweller, maybe. And then we'll see what happens. So, I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you then. Later.